let's also be real that jumping from not liking it to saying how women are not worthy or valuable is wild. <laughs> Please. So let's check this video. It's by Artonechi, Artoneki, Artonesi. I don't know actually. I think it's Artoneki. I'm not sure. Anyway, um, the deserved downfall of Minao Yama. <laughs> <laughs> this is so stupid. I swear to God. Uh, let's see what he has In to the say. In vast toxic wastelands known as Twitter, new wars are constantly waged in the name of fighting for what is right. For some, a fierce battlefield, which is only a keyboard and a controversial opinion away. But for others, a complete and utter zoo to check out who has the least amount Mostly a zoo, let's be real. ...out of IQ among all the monkeys. A true paradise <laughs> for everyone. And also <laughs> a great platform where people like to self-report. Yes, today we will be talking about a real self-reporter, namely a VTuber by the name of Mina Aoyama. Now, allegedly, this VTuber is once again another person that likes to pander to Twitter. Meaning anything she posts, she's like, Oh, I don't know what, what I post is. Oh my god, Twitter might cancel me. I, I gotta be careful about what I say. Okay, what is Twitter saying? Tech I mean, let's be real. Most people are trying to be careful with what they say. That That's just how it is. Like, nobody wants to upset, like, everybody. And, like, I, I think it's kind of normal. I, I don't think it's a big issue. Like, the idea that, like, pandering to, uh, like, your community is bad. I, I, I don't think I completely agree with that. I think it's personally... I, I personally think it's reasonable. I don't think it's a big deal. I don't think it's necessarily bad. Unless you use it for malicious... Um, for something malicious, right? Um, but I think, like trying to just make people happy or just you know anyway tone bad okay tech tone bad just kidding guys unlike some people she's not that far gone yet emphasis on the word yet anyways you get my point she's one of those this is like this is some amount of like doom posting like oh my god yes yeah the, the downfall exposed hypocrite like oh my god just calm down it's like really the situation is so non-important people this time however it actually backfired yes even the twitter mob started to put their brains back into their heads and realized that she's full of shit now as you can see even by simply looking at her profile picture you can see that she's into yuri which is a japanese term for lesbian i think and while the posts on her main account are actually pretty tame when we get to our alt account, on the other hand, I love it when women are mean to me. Oh, great, she's a masochist too. She can't. So, what's the problem with that, though? Like, what, what, literally, what's the problem with that? Oh, great, she's a masochist. Is that bad? No, it's not bad. I, 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 like, I, I, I don't get it. Like, yeah, are we just shaming people because they might be masochists or whatever? Like, who fucking cares? Let them be post some lesbian or woman stuff which i'm not gonna judge you f you are though <laughs> i'm not gonna judge but for that's someone else's job you I literally just did that though for the right moment to exterminate your entire bloodline but this is her way of okay well that uh, 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 yeah whatever that person yeah of course i don't whatever. basically pandering to the lgbt community i don't well, what if she's part of the lgbt community though like, is she really temp- Like, is she though? Is she pandering to them or is she just part of it? Like, what does it fucking matter? Maybe she just likes Yuri and just because she likes Yuri doesn't mean she's pandering to them. I, I don't know. I don't know if she herself is a lesbian. I mean, it's clear she's like the biggest coomer. The moment she sees a fucking Oh yeah, she's woman, a coomer, 100%. She legit, like, orgasms, 10 But also, let's be real, being a coomer is not bad. Like, who fucking cares? Like, Tecton is a coomer too. Like, literally, who cares? different times like what the fuck that's crazy bro this is crazy the blush you guys the blush the blush yeah i like it too <sighs> okay. but obviously yeah i mean she's taking it far but is that problematic no not really this normally isn't much of a problem i mean oh god it's never a problem why is it making that to be an issue it really is not what the hell
simply because the characters are meant to be looked at in a very respectful manner of course. That's just the incentive behind the way the characters are designed. But she randomly up and decided to go against this universal principles the gacha games have. June 18th is the day people finally got fed up with her shit. When Mina tweeted out, the last 10 seconds of that trailer was unnecessary and really reduced how powerful of a character Firefly could be. But instead, they reduce her to waifu like... Come on! All right. Before we go more into this, uh, I'm gonna give my take um, real quick. <clears throat> uh, let's go back to being able to see it not being blurred. So uh, my take is: if you think that seeing her, like, it, let's say, even if they're trying to say that she's in a relationship with the MC, right? Regardless of the gender, you know what? Fuck it. She's with a guy. All right. So. How is that reducing the fact that she's a powerful character? Are, are you saying that a powerful character cannot be in a relationship? Is, is that what it implies? Does it mean that, like, she can't be in a relationship because if she is, then she's just a waifu and she's not powerful? Are you saying that waifus can't be powerful? Like, if I'm in a relationship, does that mean that I'm not a strong, independent woman? It's just not true. So uh, on this specifically, I really don't agree with me now. Um, I think that's stupid because it does have some... It does imply some stuff that I really disagree. That said, that's probably not what she's meaning. Uh, but whatever. I mean, I, I could see, like... I mean, it feels like kind of stupid because, like, the entire idea of Firefly is that, like, she's super badass and all that stuff. But, like, her goal is to not be a machine of war. Her goal is to be... Um, her goal is to get out of that. Get out of what she was made to be. And just enjoy her real life. Have a normal life experience. That's what she wants. And being like, oh... She, she like she's gone in on the day. That's so lame. That well, I mean, you can decide it's lame. It's obviously an opinion. Again, fact and opinion, right? This is an opinion, and <clears throat> you can say she's uh, stupid uh, for having this opinion, or you disagree with her opinion. Uh, I don't think she's stupid, uh, but you you could disagree with her. Now, is she wrong? I don't think she's wrong. She can feel that way, and that's perfectly reasonable. Um, I think I disagree with the fact that the 10 seconds, the 10 last seconds of the trailer nullifies everything else we've seen about her. And I actually think it's a good character arc in general. Uh, I think it showed that she's badass, but also she's a normal girl. And I think that's good. It's like saying, you know, it's like how people don't understand superheroes. How people say like, Oh, Batman has superheroes. Like, Batman is a superhero first. He he's not human. That's not true. Batman, Superman, all those characters are human first. And superheroes. But are you saying that just because Superman is Clark Kent, that makes him not badass? No, that's stupid. So anyway, I kind of disagree with that. Um, so yeah, I, I just think that's dumb. Uh, I think it is dumb, but I mean, maybe she just didn't want these for that trailer specifically it's not an issue that said um i i think all whole game games make it so all characters are you know single and somewhat implied or less implied explicitly or implicitly the all characters are kind of into the protagonist that's just how it is regardless of gender they just like the protagonist because i mean it's those games are meant to be self-insert and characters are meant to be into you uh, so that you feel kind of special. That's just how it is. <laughs> it, I don't think it's a big deal. I don't think it makes the games bad. It's just that's how it is. So, yeah, I don't know about that. On. And let me show you the ending she's referring to right now, guys. Yep, we see Firefly there. And then look who's walking up to her. Oh. It's... It's... It was Kalos, but they didn't even show his face. It's... Uh, I, I think here in the trailer, I, I don't know why people always think like, 
oh, they're showing color, so this means that Firefly is heterosexual. No, whether it's Kalos or Stell, it doesn't matter. They're interchangeable. Like, here it's Kalos, but in some other videos, it's Firefly holding hand with Stell. Like, literally, it doesn't matter. It, this just shows it's the protagonist. It's you. This is not Kalos. This is not Stell. The person walking in is you. The player. Let's be real. It's Kalos, ah! guys. Because the thighs are in there, you know. Kalos looking kind of stiff, you know. Anyways, anyways, anyways. That's what Mina's talking about. Those were the last 10 seconds that were unnecessary and really reduced their power to a damn waifu. Like, come on. But the I'm going to say this. I'm not here to argue with anyone. If you like the ending, good for you. I didn't, and that's okay. We're allowed to have different opinions. I, yeah, entirely. Across the middle, Celestia animated short in the character show, she's got barely a 10 second tease with the MC. How does that reduce the character? Because for three patches, she has been nothing but MC's girlfriend. They show a whole trailer of Firefly competition with her mortality in the piece of acceptance, then ruin it by introducing waifu bait again. You know what? I can't understand that point. Like, I understand that, like, the, every character are supposed to be waifus and husbandos. And we've seen her being in that position for a while now, for like three patches. And I understand the point of Vina. It's like, oh, she's been the waifu for so long. And at last we actually get a trailer where she's fucking badass. And that's awesome. But then again, it defaulted to her being waifu girlfriend, you know? I, I can actually understand that. I don't think that's mutually exclusive in my opinion. The absolute irony of her saying this last line, reducing her to a waifu, come on. When she's literally doing exactly that, reposting all these female characters in this way, what do you think you're doing? I don't get this. Like, because you like waifus doesn't mean that you always want it to be the center of attention. Because you like, like, looking at girls and saying they're your waifu doesn't mean that you always want that to happen. Like, for example, I like Raiden, Shogun in Genshin. I think she's pretty waifu. She, I, I would be like, yeah, she's my waifu. I like her. Is Raiden shown going on dates all the time? No. Would I be happy if I saw Raiden Shogun going on a date with Ether or Lumine? I, I don't know. I don't really care. I don't need that to enjoy her as a waifu. So I think like this point is kind of silly. This point, I think this point is kind of silly. Like, if she likes them being waifus, if she likes reposting art of them being waifu or thirsting over them, doesn't mean that she necessarily wants them to be officially shown in this situation. I think it's okay. Matt, you're allowed to like certain things in certain situations and not like them in others. I don't think it's a big deal. I feel like it can be pretty nuanced. I think this is a bit silly. You're the one literally reducing them into a waifu like this is such terrible fucking hypocrisy like look yeah, at this shit i disagree with that i disagree with that this has nothing to do with the same thing like this is art this is art by fucking fans i, I really disagree with authenticity here look at all this fucking art she's reposting bro like what the fuck but it's probably just exclusive to her Twitter, man. Give her a break. She's probably not that way on street. So, it's so sad. So, God damn it, not another fucking table. What is it with these lesbians and their tables, man? Nobody likes you, table kun. Now I can't believe I have to say this, but the entire point of releasing female characters to an audience of mostly men is to obviously sell her as a fucking waifu. Yes, They are over-sexualized because of that fact, Debatable, which is the reason but sometimes. people like Timmy can't leave Genshin alone because Oh no, what would happen if they leave their waifu? Yeah, they there's always gonna be some people who are Eula, mentally deranged. For another game. Or what would they think when Timmy isn't actively jacking off to them? Oh no now, Timmy, you do not want to teach. You do not leave Genshin alone. You continue picking that mint while looking at Eula's ass. 
That's obviously the main point, the main audience they're going for with all these female characters. It's what makes sure. them the most fucking money. Agreed. And while they do not mention all the NSFW communities, they know that that part of the internet greatly helps their sales. Yeah, keeps sure. Keeps the players engaged to the waifu. And some might even have discovered Genshin through that stuff. Sure. Crazy. I do also want to point out something very interesting. The one time she's complaining about someone being reduced to a waifu is the time Kalis, a male, gets romantic with Firefly, a female. Hey, I'm not saying... Uh, I mean, I, I, I kind of get the point. It's like, would she have complained with Stell? Um... Pro I don't know. I feel like maybe? I No, I don't know. I think she probably would not have complained. Maybe she would not have liked it um, as much, but she probably wouldn't have complained. I feel like the fact that West Kalos probably exacerbated the issue she might have felt. Um, so, yeah, I'm not sure. Probably not. Probably not. I, I, I could see this point anything. here. I'm not saying anything. It may just be a coincidence. It may just be a coincidence, guys. Just keep that in mind. Anyway. Yeah, I, I think here it's incredibly subjective. Uh, I, I think it's just a lot of speculating. And you can't really say anything about that. This is how it is. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's just speculative. Get my point. Then she actually followed it up, saying, I'm going to state this. I'm not here to argue with anyone. If you like the ending, good for you. I didn't. And that's okay. We're allowed to have different opinions. Mm -hmm. You didn't like the ending? You want to know what the funny thing is about all this? She actually posted a reaction to YouTube. So let's see how she reacted live. Yes, she sees him. And... She's staring. <laughs> That's it. Very cute ending. Okay, I, I need your opinion. Does it seem like she enjoyed the ending? Does it seem like she enjoyed the ending? I, I'm, I'm like literally just... What do you think? Yes, she sees him. Like... And... She's staring. <laughs> That's it. Very cute ending. Yeah, very cute. I, I, I don't know. Honestly, it doesn't seem like she liked it. She might have said that and then in retrospect or later on, I was like thinking about it and decided that she didn't like it. She says it was cute and it was cute. I, I, I feel like this is not proof that she liked it and then she like went back and like lied about it. But yeah, she literally calls it a very cute ending. Like what the fuck? I think this is reaching, honestly. So where exactly was the problem while you reacted to the entire thing? Because I don't see it. It's strange how you... Yeah, sometimes people don't give their full take right away. Sometimes they have to digest on it. I think, like, this is so much speculating and reaching, honestly. Like, uh, yeah, maybe so I'll be the only one who, who disagrees, but, opinion, like, I don't while care. calling it cute in your initial reaction. That's really strange, you know? But, hey... Also, something can be cute and you can still dislike it. I don't know. I don't... I, it's what it is, blah, 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 blah. what it is. However, despite her not even acknowledging this entire incident on YouTube, she got a whole an incident <laughs> wow she called something cute it's a mental end 1800 dislikes so basically one in five people actually dislike this precisely because of the shit that she said on twitter but i'm gonna get to the best part of this <sighs> now where did all those dislikes come from well obviously from her own community and let me tell you when your own community is out there exposing you turning their backs against you you know you don't what is it with people do they think that every single person like the community has to sing for them and always agree with them no like, not so long ago, Tekton did this reaction to Firefly's trailer and other people didn't like it either. So, 
What, are we gonna go like, oh my god, he fell off? Like, even his community knows he's like terrible and shitty, hypocrisy. Like, it was like, yeah, we just didn't like it. That's it, the end, move on. Fucked up. So this person basically replies across a myriad celestial, an animated short, and a character trailer. She gets barely a 10 second tease with the MC. How does that produce her character? Asking the logical question here. And then she actually responds to this saying, Because for three patches she has been nothing but the main character's girlfriend, they show a whole trailer of Firefly coming to terms with her mortality and the peace of acceptance, then ruin it by introducing waifu bait again. This isn't a target to male trailblazer either. I'd be annoyed if it was femme trailblazer too. Hmm. Surely she's telling the truth, guys. Surely her reaction would have been the same if I mean, it was still instead. Surely yeah, maybe. Who fucking knows? Sexist hypocrite. Oh, what? Wait. Yeah. Surely she's not a deranged sexist hypocrite. This is outrageous. This is outrageous. A deranged sexist hypocrite? Yo, just because she didn't like a part of a trailer, suddenly you're calling her the range and misandrist? This is out this is outrageous. I, I I don't like this. I really don't like this. Oh wait. This isn't the target to male trailblazer either. I'd be annoyed if it was fan trailblazer too. Uh-huh. You're not gonna convince anyone with that when this is your reaction to a two-second interaction from a trailer between two females. It's obvious your only problem is with little Kalos. <laughs> how? How? I, I don't get this. I, I really don't. I don't see how this is a gotcha moment. I really don't. I'm sorry, guys. It's just like Topaz has never been shown as like a super top tier waifu that only like does waifu stuff like or anything like that. And uh, Jade is very hot and she obviously meant to resemble a mummy and she goes here and she like approaches her and touches her quite intimately on the on like on her cheek. Uh, is that is that bad? Like this is to the same level of when Rune may start touching the trailblazer, regardless of gender. That, I mean that's pretty hot. I feel like a lot of people reacted the same way. I don't see how this is a counter argument. I really don't. I think this is like a lot of nitpicking just to get a gotcha moment out of it. Uh, I think this is stupid. Oh, look. Oh, you didn't like it because it happens to be a girl and a boy. But this one time when there were two girls, you liked it. So obviously you're misandrist. What? I, I don't know. I think this is highly speculative. I, I don't like that. Like, like they're presenting this as absolute fact when we we don't have that kind of information honestly and i think this is going far and this is a lot of um allegations that i think are really really bad in my opinion yikes this is the fucking re wait what the fuck this is the reaction you you got that aroused in two seconds. Holy shit! Aroused. Have you Holy crap! The story with I I really don't like the words he's using. I think it's it's kind of weird and gross. I don't like it. By the way, I like the trailer. I will let that be fully known. I did enjoy the trailer. I thought it was cute, and I didn't give a crap about whether it was Kellis or anyone else because it was a trailblazer. And guess what? The trailblazer is whichever I want it to be. Eyes closed. She is not just main character's girlfriend. The monologue in the secret base, keeping her identity as Sam, her standing up to Sunday. If 10 seconds of fan suffers that calls back to 2.0 story is too much to you, then you're just salty and hate Kayla. I disagree with that. I don't no, know. No, guys, leave her alone. Surely she would have said that either way. I think she's done a fair bit more. I don't know. I, again, I don't know if she would have said that either way, but I, I think it's very speculative. Maybe not. And would that have been an issue? No, neither. It's really like, there's really no fucking problem there. People are like pretending this is an issue and calling her misandrist and sexist and like the range. This is insane. This is actually insane. She said she didn't like it. Move the fuck on. 
People are weird. Main character's girlfriend. Yeah, there's been a ship tease, but she quietly carried a massive chunk of the story in terms of actions. Also, wouldn't making a new connection with someone be part of coming to terms with her mortality and acceptance? Agreed. Holy fucking true. I'm sorry, Mina, but it just comes across as hypocritical when you ship her so much with Robin. Why does it become character reducing all of a sudden when it's with the main character? So even her own... Okay, I think there's a difference between something that you ship and something that's shown. Like, uh, like I'm trying to be relative as objective as I can, right? I'm trying to. I think there's a big difference between something you ship and something that's shown. So I could understand if like she ships them together because she likes them and she, she liked that idea of them being together. And Mihoyo publishing something official that shows her in a circumstance that seemed like they might be on a date. Also, I will say it doesn't have to be a date. They could just be friends hanging out. But, you know, it is what it is. People will, you know, it's kind of left open, so it's open to your interpretation. So it's, if to you it feels like they're on a date, that's fair enough. Fans have caught on to the disastrous hypocrisy that is her opinion. The disastrous her hypocrisy. Like, Holy shit. Bruh. Look at this one. I'd be annoyed if it was Femme Trailblazer 2. Showing a tweet from her on June the 6th saying, I would give my soul for Robin to be canonically flirty in game with Firefly. Holy shit. That is a caught in 4K moment wide. That's there. just so my. Oh my god. <laughs> You actually can't make this shit up? This is insane. He's fucking idiots, bro. He's fucking idiots. And while we're on the topic of Robin, when the Robin Tectone drama was going on, which if you're curious about it, you can check my video on it, link below. She actually made a tweet saying, if you comment on my Robin post that she looks brutal. If you comment on my Robin post that sh she looks beautiful and she's straight to get a rise out of me, I will block you. You're allowed to have whatever thoughts you want about a character, but I'm also allowed to not like it and want to see it. I feel that's, like, that's fucking fair. Isn't that fair? I feel like that's just fair. It's not like Mina went after someone saying that they liked how Callus looked at the end of the thing and said like, Oh, how dare you! Readable, or she's straight to get a rise out of me, I will block you. you yeah, uh, if you're trolling me, I'm gonna block you. Wow, how dare she? You are allowed to have whatever thoughts you want about the character, but I'm also allowed to not like it and want to see it. Yes, I have my own thoughts on what characters are like in headcanons, but I will never go into someone else's space and impose them on another person. Why can't others have the same courtesy? So basically, fans sitter 101, I hate drama, whatever, whatever. Which is fine, obviously. Better that than calling what Tecton did to Robin fucking sexual assault. Like, holy shit, the mental illness with that one. But yeah, but that's not her though. That's just a random when person. When reading Tekton's tweet again saying is robbing the most fuckable character in Honkai Story, it kind of does seem like she's taking a shot at Tekton, but who can No, I, I don't I mean that's speculation again. Say for sure, you know. So you can't view women as worthy if they have romantic interest. Yikes. Yikes, yikes. Yeah, what is up with that man? What? And oh so as worthy if Uh, yeah, I kind of agree with that. Um, this is kind of what she, like, that seemed to have been implied at the beginning. I, I agree with that. The idea that just because she... I mean, I can understand that, like, the... Um, showing that last part might be too much of a contrast for her in this situation because she just wanted her to be badass. Uh, but I disagree with her statement on that regard. Uh, I, I think it's really not an issue. As I said before, I think if, like, if Firefly is in a relationship, it doesn't change how badass she is. And I think that just this way... Period. So I do disagree with Mina on this specific idea. What she seems to have implied is just... Um, I, I just fully disagree with that. But the rest, I think, is fine. If they have romantic interest, yikes. Yikes, yikes. Yeah? yeah, what is up with that, man? Oh, so now that they're in a romantic relationship, she's not valuable anymore. She's suddenly nothing but the main character's girlfriend, ignoring all her other character aspects, just because she's the main Okay, character. let's also be real. That jumping from not liking it to saying how women are not worthy or valuable is wild. <laughs> That's taking it a bit too far, let's be real. Girlfriend, I don't know. Sounds pretty sexiest to me. If as soon as a woman gets a lover, you start viewing her as nothing. Isn't that actually a thing in some cultures where they get married off and then they're just the property of, of the husband? Not a good look, Mina. Not a good look. Your own fans are saying this. Here's this another is one. outrageous. Oh, you wouldn't be upset if it was still this you. Firefly, number one, she's so cute. Oh my God, what did I say? Guys, what did I say? Literally before this, I was like, wow, I just want Firefly to be like a really cute girl who we date and we just have fun with, you know? And that's what they're giving me. They're giving me that. They're giving me what I want. Absolute cinema. <laughs> Yeah, maybe your opinion changed, though. I mean, that was like... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe your opinion changed. That's probably something for, like, six months ago.
like three months ago. I don't know. Uh, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> this is the person saying, oh, I wouldn't care if it was Kalis or Stell. It doesn't matter to me. I'd still <sighs> complain. This one drove it home, guys. She either hates straight relationships or she hates men. I'm also leaning towards the hating men side. Now, I don't know if you can actually call someone sexist off of doing this type of shit because it's a fictional character. One week ago? No, the post the person made was a week ago. Her clip of it was way before, I think, is what I meant. The DCU was a week ago, but her, the clip from what it, when it was taken was a while ago. Because it seemed like it was like uh, one of the previous patches. Oh, brother. Maybe no. I'm wrong, to be fair. That shit again. But also, regardless of what happened, the moment the new trailer came, and she just, maybe she just wanted Firefly to look fucking badass from beginning to end, and she didn't like the ending. That's it. Like, how is that a big deal? I'm not sure if it's right to call her that because some people have been calling her that, but this is a red fucking flag for sure. Holy hypocrite. And we have multiple other people also calling her out for the fucking hypocrisy she did. What the fuck? Proceeds to argue. True. Another one. What's this? Robes. Eventually building the planet of festivities we have today. <laughs> God, all these fucking See? That's from where it was taken. And she was like, I wanted her to be super cute. So that was a while ago. That was from one of the first trailers. Says, they need to go to a mental asylum. What the fuck was that reaction? They're not real, Jimmy. Get that in your fucking brain. Yeah, I really don't like this. Okay. It's really... Okay. Um, <laughs> um, excuse me. One second. Wait a second. Wait a darn moment in time, everybody. Wait a moment. Hold on. Stop, stop, stop. Oh my god. Firefly? I've been saying, I've been saying, Black Swan who? Sparkle who? Acheron who? Firefly. See, that was Firefly a long time on ago. Top, on freaking top. I have been saying this from the get-go. Firefly, number one, she's so cute. Oh my God, what did I say? Guys, what did I say? Literally before this, I was like, wow, I just want Firefly to be like a really cute girl who we date and we just have fun with, you know? And that's what they're giving me. They're giving me that. They're giving me what I want. The blush? You guys, the blush? The blush? Look at her, bro. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. So yeah, basically no one's buying her shit. Even her own fans have completely turned against her. The Twitter mob, at least on her side, has finally fucking grown up and realized that she's another fake Mr. Nice Guy. Or girl in this case. This yeah, is outrageous. I, I... Completely different tune. They that deep, homie. Am I the only one who doesn't like Firefly? I don't understand why everyone loves her so much. It just feels like This is kind of painful to watch. I'm not gonna lie. Like her. It's like totally being manipulated by the writers into trying to make me like her. her character was rushed and was created for the sole purpose of being a wife. I know, Mina, a pretty insane concept to grasp right there. But you know what the funny thing is? Like, she got enough support to the point where she didn't want to delete these tweets and just never owned up to being a fucking hypocrite. Instead, you want to know what she fucking did? This video has 1.8k dislikes. Why? Because the viewers are fucking idiots. The Twitter mob came over and disliked this shit. And obviously, surely some must have left their comments criticizing her. Let's check them out for a second. Alright. I mean, you'd expect it to be at least, like, top comments. But I don't see. Uh, uh, is it that bad that you delete bad comments on your video? Like, maybe you don't want to see that shit. We don't even know if it she did it. Maybe your editor did it. I don't know. I feel like, I feel like we're taking an issue that's a non-issue and then suddenly like insulting her, calling her slurs and then saying she's a misandrist and shit. Like that's outrageous. I feel like, like this seems like a fucking hit piece. It's terrible. I, I hate this shit. Anything related to the entire incident. Hmm, I wonder where all the comments are criticizing her. Surely people were civil about it just like they surprisingly were on Twitter. So you're implying that they were not civil. And so you're saying that it's fine to leave the uncivilized comments here just insulting her? Okay. Uh, weird take. I'm 100% sure she definitely doesn't fucking delete comments anything criticizing her. Like, holy shit, you can't criticize her. This is a response to your criticism, guys. This is her response to being called out for being a hypocrite. If you left a comment about the incident, well, your channel's probably banned. So you might as well unsubscribe at that point. So after not being able to find a single comment criticizing her, I, I actually sorted by newest first. And now, two days ago, I can see that she wasn't monitoring her comment section anymore. Because two comments with exactly the same amount of likes. One saying, you retard, cry. Yeah, that sounds like comments you should not, like, remove. That sounds fine. Sounds like a good time, just having people, like, insult you. Great. 
saying, oh my god. Uh, the other saying, Yuriho detected touch grass IRL. Now, obviously, these comments are uncivil, but you want to know what the problem is. You probably already blocked the ones that were civil in this case. So, these were probably some rabid leftover fans that got in on the situation a little late, or maybe even realized that comments were getting fucking deleted. If that ain't a pussy move, I don't know what is. You cannot sit there and tell me she got two hate comments out of 500 and... It's funny how people say like, oh, if you're getting hate, just block them. And then if you block them, people are calling you a pussy. What? And a hypocrite. Like, Jesus Christ. This is so... 79 this is comments dumb. from a video that got 1,800 dislikes. That is fucking bullshit and you know it, bitch. She seems to have pulled an Atsu with this one. Either way, in conclusion, your also oh wholesome VTuber turned out to be not so wholesome after all, guys. It only took like two years for her to come out and... Does he have... Does he just, does he just hate her? Does he just hate her? It, it looks like he was waiting for her to like mess up and mess up. I didn't like it. Oh, let's take her down, boys. Let's take her down. What the fuck is this video? Look at literally you. spent 18 minutes just insulting her. What the fuck is that? Like, maybe you can just say, okay, she said that. I don't think she would have reacted the same way if it was female trailblazer. That's kind of hypocritical. The end. Why does he go to tensions about how, like, she's a misandry, she's sexist, she's, like, manipulating people, she's the same as Atsu? Like, holy crap, this is insane. relationships, or men, I guess. Now, whether she's actually sexist, no one can say for sure, but she's obviously self-reported to be... Oh, no one can say for sure, but I'm certainly not gonna take the... miss the opportunity to say she is. Jesus Christ. He's another deranged hypocrite. What's new in the this deranged community hypocrite. called the gotcha community? Deranged. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed Holy that. Crap. If you did, please subscribe. Please. 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 Like the vid, share it, join my Discord, follow my Twitch. Peace. Only quality content here, folks. Subscribe, please. Yeah, I, I really did not like this video. I, I really did not. It, it's... Yeah. I... That That's just... That's just weird, in my opinion. I, um, uh, you, you can agree that, like, you, you can say that your opinion is that, like, yeah, she's hypocritical, but, like, calling her deranged, uh, saying that she shouldn't block people insulting her, saying that she's, like, sexist, that's, that's just outrageous, in my opinion. I, I, I don't get this. Um, I, I think, like, yeah, I just, I'm, I'm kind of baffled, not gonna lie. I, it's like using something that's really not a big deal and turning it into like kind of like weaponizing it is a uh, it's kind of kind of strange like fucking touch grass it's about me now yeah anyway yeah that's i whatever yeah not a big fan of this one um it is what it is i guess bye